Okay, so we're on the road, peeps. Hello, everyone. Good morning. I am Buried One Crypto Mining, or also named as Rory. And a lot of you guys are like, when I talk to you, and I say like, this is what I do, and they check out my YouTube channel, they're gonna be like, hmm, I don't know what you're doing. So I decided to make this video today uh, while I'm driving. As I'm traveling around the world, I'm figuring out the newest technologies on mining, uh, the hardware side. That is mainly what I do. I start to check out the most newest technologies for mining. This is very important. A lot of people forget how important mining is for cryptocurrencies. But in today's video, I just want to make a short one. Like the most common question I get when they see my YouTube channel is, how do I get into Bitcoin and how hard is it to get in? Like how long does it take for me to learn? And I decided to go ahead and make a new series about this, like how to get into Bitcoin, because there's many ways on how you can get into Bitcoin. It's, you can get into it by mining it, you can get into it by trading it and buying it. But the most important thing is to know the difference between the two. I see a police car. The first one is mining. I'm gonna make two separate videos maybe, or if I have time enough, I'll do it in one. But the thing is, mining, when you do mining, you support the cryptocurrency like Bitcoin. You can do mining in a few different ways, FPGAs, GPUs, ASICs, but I will make another video for that. But first of all, you need to know what mining does. It secures the network as one of the biggest weaknesses of cryptos is double spending. So what does this mean? You will need 51% of the entire network's power and then you can double spend your coins and let's say you have a thousand bitcoins, you can make it 2000 and spend it twice. That is how it works. So that's the only disadvantage. But when that happens, there's gonna be a thousand more bitcoins in the network and the price will drop because there's a thousand more coins inside. So the thing is, we need to secure that. And mining is one of the ways to do it. The second one is just purchasing bitcoins. And this is where a lot of people make a mistake when they talk with me and they want to buy a bitcoin. And I say like, you don't have to buy an entire Bitcoin because this goes down to a friggin' Satoshi and this is like so tiny that you won't even know how much US dollars this is worth as it's so small, it takes a lot of calculation to get there. So actually, if you, if you let's say make Bitcoin like a million dollars, one Satoshi is still like one US dollar cents or something. That is what I mean. So you can purchase 0.1 Bitcoin or 0.01 and you still have about $70 worth of Bitcoins. That is how simple it is. You don't have to purchase a whole Bitcoin. But of course it's very smart as you think there's only about 16 million Bitcoins going around. And if you consider that back in the days, like 10 years ago, people threw away hard drives with thousands of Bitcoins on it, on their actual wallets and they are all lost so maybe we don't even know how much bitcoins are still existing that are still being circulated of course we have a rough estimation on the ones that are being traded but of course there's people holding their bitcoins and so on but like the biggest transaction i ever saw was freaking 12,000 bitcoins and that's like worth 50 or 70 million back then or no i think 140 million dollars and they made a massive trade. So this is just one of the ways to make the biggest transactions on earth without a third party. And that is why it's so powerful. But as I said, I'm gonna make this video simple on how to get into Bitcoin. We'll talk about it more. If you guys like videos like this, then I will definitely do that, like talk about it all the time. But the thing is you can purchase a single or a piece of a Bitcoin. You don't have to purchase the whole coin in one go. And I can help you on that with a few video tutorials on how to purchase your, your Bitcoin, on how to do it safely is one of the, the best options because there's a lot of people that get scammed these days that don't know anything about Bitcoin and they just get screwed over. People even give them physical coins or something for the lulls, but this is actually just 
a copper coin that looks like a friggin' Bitcoin. So you need to be very careful on this as there's a lot of fishy people around it and very much scammy. So what I'm gonna tell you guys here is buying them is the first option. Um, but the thing my YouTube channel specializes on is mining them. So you can mine Bitcoins with GPU mining rigs. If you use NiceHash, for example, you can easily mine more Bitcoins over time than you put money into it. So for example, you purchase a $7,000 mining rig that is almost the same as a single Bitcoin and you mine the hell out of it when there's new coins on NiceHash, you're gonna gain some serious cash those days. But let's say you, you take a year or six months to get the $7,000 back. Of course, you need to pay your electricity, but consider that you made $7,000 profit again. After six months of mining, you paid your electricity. Right then, you have $7,000 or one Bitcoin on your wallet and you still have your $7,000 mining rig running and mining all day. This is the point where you start to make serious cash because six months after that, you will probably make another $7,000 or maybe a bit less like five or 3,000, but still you had more than you purchased on the coin. Unless the coin goes up crazy in price, of course, then it's gonna, gonna be a different story but even though when you're mining you also gain bitcoins so it's not that if you're mining that your cryptos are gonna stay the same price too so that is the reason why mining is so powerful even though you had like like a half bitcoin like three thousand five hundred dollars to make it easy and the coin price doubles you already made seven thousand and that is the point where you could say, okay, I'm gonna return my investment and I'm gonna cash out $7,000. Well, why did you spend it? That is mainly my question when people do that. Like, why would you, why would you want your money back? The reason you're mining is to get as much coins as possible. So when you stop, when you have two Bitcoins on your, on your Coinbase wallet or something, that is the moment you need to think like, oh yeah, I gained two Bitcoins instead of one. And you still have your hardware, you can sell. You can sell the mining rig and you will have two Bitcoins and then you have your return of investment like 50% back. The reason is simple. You want to get as much coins as possible and that is why mining exists. You need to do something for it. That is also securing the network, securing your Bitcoins. Um, but if you want to do some Bitcoin mining, of course, you need to purchase some ant miners. They're very easy to set up. That is for another video. I'm going to talk like on which ways you can mine Bitcoin, like with FPGAs, with GPUs back in the days, or ASIC miners. As Ethereum is GPU based, there's ASICs already, and even FPGAs that are going to blow them away. But the main reason my YouTube channel exists is to teach people on how to get into crypto. Before it's too late, because if you imagine that Bitcoin is only $7,000 right now, there's only about 16 million coins, and if 16 million people decide to, to claim all the coins, it's gonna get expensive. There's a lot of people in this world, and when people are starting to offer $100,000 for a single Bitcoin, and one of the guys that is holding one of the 16 million bitcoins when he breaks and he says like okay i'm gonna take the 100,000 he probably will regret that as soon as it's gonna reach like three million dollars for a single bitcoin he he should have thought like oh crap i could have made three million instead of 100,000 that is just what happened to my cousin back in the day when he was starting to get into bitcoin mining he, he sold them way too early for like a hundred dollars if he knew it's gonna be $25,000, like like the end of 2017, he would have been a millionaire, man. That is the reason why people are doing mining, to get as much coins as possible, to hold them for when something happens like that. And the reason why I'm telling you guys this is that is that 
Bitcoin is still in the early phase. It's only 10 years old. It takes years to adapt, but we all know that our ecosystem is kind of getting broken with inflation. Um, it's happening all over the world and we can fix this in some sort of way. But of course, I just wanted to tell you guys that that's also what my YouTube channel is about. But mainly I am focusing on hardware kind of things like getting the latest kind of mining hardware, go more efficient, go more powerful and so on. Because I'm just a technology guy, I love everything about hardware and stuff. That is the reason why I have my YouTube channel. And I want to help people out building their farms that want to go huge, get as much coins as they can, stuff like that. I am really for that. I am not like going for pure profit. That will come at the end when you're one of the guys that watched my YouTube channel and watched this video and you purchased a single Bitcoin for yourself or even 0.1 Bitcoin. You will probably thank me in like 20 or 30 years from now or even your children. That is the reason why. And as always, one thing that, that is always haunting me is we are like the new generation. I'm only 22 years old, so I have to make something out of this life for other people too. So the previous generation is already kind of trying to adapt to Bitcoin like the 40s and the 50s. I even see people in the 60s tr trying to get into it. And I really want to help out these people to get into it just a little bit and teach them step by step how to get into crypto. First of all, I'm gonna try and teach you guys how to purchase your Bitcoin safely as this is one of the most important features. And when you purchase your first Bitcoin and you have your Coinbase wallet or something, you can go ahead and try out Ethereum or Monero or something you like, you think that has a potential future. But you need to think about one thing, Bitcoin was first, you can see it as a big bang, there's millions, millions of coins coming out probably in the next five years. Everyone wants to create a coin, it just feels like the big bang in the universe, like there's gonna be 10,000s of coins and at the end everyone is gonna turn back on the top five coins like Ethereum, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, whatever. and that's where it all will start and go back to. That is what I think, because the guy that created Bitcoin has considered every single coin that is created so far. So he thought about it before. So why is he still on the Bitcoin thing? The reason is that's the one that worked out. So he stuck with the Bitcoin theory and with hard forks or soft forks, that's another video, you can change kind of a few things in, inside the blockchain and upgrade your coin if it needs more transactions per second, stuff like that. It's pretty simple to do, but the thing is, I just want to get you guys in and that's the reason why I made this video. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video today and make sure to leave a comment below on, on what you would like to see from me, like how to get into Bitcoin and how hard it is, because it's very simple. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video today. See you guys in the next one.